Cody Arch Creek Ranch is about the best cattle ranch that a guy could have out here, I think. I'd say it's got great access on both sides, east and west. So, I mean, I think with a little bit of uh, cross fencing and stuff like that, you could really get a lot out of this place. Yeah, so. exactly. Like you mentioned, with a county road on the east side, the west side, then another county road runs all the way along the north side of it. So you can come in any, you could have several access points, bust this thing up into several different pastures for rotational grazing, really maximize a herd on a property like this. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of a clean slate for anybody right now who wanted to just come in, build a house. I mean, you've got a lot of these little, you know, creek bottom areas and then just, I mean, even some, a little bit of topography on the backside, so. You know, the other thing that makes this ranch so unique is its location and it's, uh, you're just, just down the road, what, 10 minutes from Sundance? Yeah. Uh, you're 35 minutes to Gillette, a bigger town, you know, have all your big box stores and stuff like that. But I think one of the key features of, of the location of this is its proximity to Keyhole Reservoir. Oh, I think that's the best part about it. I mean, you're just maybe five minutes down the road, you'd be right in the boat. So. Yeah, and what they have down there, a little Pine Haven community, I mean, they have restaurants, there's a grocery store down there, um, a great boat ramp, uh, and then all the stuff that Keyhole offers, the fishing, uh, the boating, skiing, um, it's just a, it's an incredible little oasis set out here in the middle of the west. Oh yeah, and then on top of it, you know, you also got a little bit of hunting on this property as well. So, I mean, a lot of mule deer make their way through this, antelope, you know, not so much elk on this side, but definitely have the antelope and mule deer. So. You know, but the great thing about Wyoming is if you have a ranch that doesn't have the, the, the elk on it that a guy might want, he can still have that big, beautiful cattle ranch and there's enough state ground around with great elk hunting on it. I tell you, you know, even the National Forest is just right down the road as well. So if a guy wanted to, he could get up there and hunt all day long if he wanted to. So. You know, this thing is just under 2,400 acres. So the number of cattle that a, that a guy could run out here you know, it would depend obviously on the year, year in and year out, but it's set up perfectly whether you wanted to do a cow-calf operation or a feeder cow operation. Yeah, definitely. I think that far west side, I believe, you know, like if you did throw in some cross fence and there's, there's some early water there in the spring, you know, you could rotation them back this direction, you know, as it gets a little later in the year and just maximize your dollar on it. So. You know, you mentioned water just a little bit. Um, there's uh, there's live water on this piece. Uh, there's several springs on this piece. So, you know, that's something that a guy really wants to look for when he's out west looking for a ranch, isn't it? I mean, make sure it's got good water. Oh, definitely. You know, that's kind of the high desired thing out here in the west, you know, because it is a hot commodity, so. And this is a great ranch and I appreciate you showing it to me. And for more information on Arch Creek Ranch or any others, go to HaydenOutdoors.com.